Hi everybody, welcome back to another motivating cleaning video. And so today's video is gonna be just a spruce around my house. Um, it is turned upside down at the moment. So the first thing I'm doing here is throwing a wash load on. Um, I have got two children. I've got a 10 month old and a four year old. And I can't tell you, I just can't get to the bottom of my washing pile. It is just never ending at the moment. I really cannot catch up. Um, so this is the first load of the day going on. The next thing I do need to tackle is my kitchen. We've had breakfast and nothing's tidied or washed up from breakfast and everything needs to get back in order and clean. Um, so yeah, that's sort of the aftermath of that and also the dining table too. Um, so I um, realise I actually need to get some clothes off of the area um, before that wash load finishes. And um, so I've jumped straight onto doing that. We haven't got a tumble dryer, so I do have to let everything air dry in my house, um, which does take obviously a little bit longer as well. We do put it by the radiator, but obviously as you can imagine, the months are now getting colder, so it does take some time to dry. I'm just going to be putting away some of the washing up that is already dry um, before I start tidying up the kitchen. So next I'm going to be actually cleaning my sink. It is a white ceramic sink and as you can see it's just got a little bit dirty and grimy here and um, so this was needed. I'm using SIF. I do like this product quite a lot. It just really does get the marks off for me and just brings back an absolute shine to my sink. As you can see now, that sink is looking so good, so shiny and clean. I'm so pleased with how this has turned out. And so I'm gonna pop everything back on now and move on to the rest of the kitchen. I've just got a few things that I do need to wash up. There wasn't a lot actually. Again, we do not have a dishwasher, so the dishwasher is me, or my husband Sam, um, but it's me today at the moment, so I'm just gonna be tidying um, the few things that we do need to wash up. to the rest of the kitchen now I'm just actually going to take everything off the sides as most as possible that I can and give these a really good wipe down my favorite spray at the moment is the flash spray wipe done I just really love these um, and they come in really nice um, smells as well and um, so I've just done that here and I'm gonna do that throughout the kitchen As you can see, the hob has definitely been overlooked um, a few cleans, so 
it was desperate for a clean as I think yesterday when we used it from cooking it wasn't cleaned and um, so I'm doing that now and this does take a little bit longer because it is a gas cooker so going around the rings does take ages um, but yeah it needed doing so here I am much cleaner now so really happy with that moving on to the rest of the kitchen so this last section here to go again I'm moving everything out the way so as much as possible so that I can spray and wipe down the sides just realized there was a bit of food splatter on the tiles here behind and um, so I'm just going to give those a wipe too these are the white metro tiles they're really lovely but being white they obviously do show um, some dirt and sprays from the food every now and then this corner of my kitchen which is just above the washing machine it honestly gets so much clutter and um, so I'm just tidying through that now and just making sure everything's back where it should be um, and just giving it another spray looking so much more tidy now and that is the kitchen all done i'm really happy everything's tidy and wiped down moving on to the dining table and um, yet again another dumping ground of everything on my table needs to go back to its proper home where it should be and um, so i had some cookbooks there some shopping bags um, a notebook that's just got to go away and some place mats as well which need to go away wipe down the whole table as well and just as I said I've got two young children and so this table does get quite dirty regularly and being white as well it does show up everything and so everything is now off the table so that I can give it a good clean This little play area corner I have set up is actually not too untidy. Um, I do need to go through the little box of toys there. There's probably too much in there now. So I need to maybe for another day sort that box of toys out. But I just wanted to give that a quick tidy. And um, so that is all done now. So the last thing I need to do is take the clean clothes on the chair upstairs. And um, I'm, I'm emptying our dehumidifier. So this is all the water that's been collected in our kitchen diner. It is so satisfying when that is full and emptying that. But it is like, I sometimes can't believe how much water is collected in this room. But obviously we do dry our washing here. So that is also why. I've now moved upstairs to my daughter's bedroom because this was a job that I really need to do. So as you can see, there's so much dirt on her windowsill, um, so I need to clean this. It's so such an important job to make sure that her room is obviously tidy. So this was definitely overdue and I just really wanted to get it done for her. At 29 and I find myself wondering, what did happen to the last 10? 
This is another room where we also do have to bring up the dehumidifier. It's another room that holds quite a lot of moisture and we're not sure why yet. Um, so that is probably the reason why these windows are so bad. But the dehumidifier does really help with this. Um, so really she probably needs her own dedicated one that we leave in her room. But we do sort of automate and bring the one that we do have um, upstairs as well. I've opened the window a little bit as well just to air the room as well. I'm going to make sure that I try to do this as well when she's at school, when I'm at home, just to give the room a nice air. These are the window sills in mine and my husband's bedroom, mine and Sam's room. As you can see, there's a bit of mold growing as well. Um, just on the bottom of the seams now I did give this a really good scrub but actually it seems to be on the seal bit at the bottom um, so actually it didn't come off very well so I don't know if I need probably a specialized mold product so I'm gonna have to come back and give this a go another day um, but if you guys um, can recommend any products that you use in the past please leave a comment down below because I'd love some recommendations and um, as, as you can see really in the corners this did not come out at all and um, I now need to move on to changing my bed in this was also another job on my list to do and I've shown this hack many times but I keep my whole set of a bedding inside a pillowcase I absolutely love this hack I love knowing that I get to pull that out of the cupboard and that I have everything I need in one pillow case for the whole set of my bedding so I just really love this hack um, and then I'm just going to start by changing the bed Life lessons come one in a dozen The other eleven get something from nothing Life lessons come one in a dozen The other eleven get something from nothing Life changes just open the door But one thing's certain, I'll always be Okay, so I finally got that duvet into the duvet case there um, that kind of took me a while I'll need to get quicker at doing that maybe um, I'll try and so I am so glad that I changed that and actually can't wait to now get into bed tonight I'm definitely getting old now I know that a fresh set of bedding does make me happy and yeah can't wait to get to bed tonight now um, but that is all done and so another job ticked off my list which I'm so pleased about um, another job that I've done is um, obviously the washing so that was now done so that I needed to get down and hang that up going to be popping in another wash load um, and I'm going to spot any stains I use this vanish stick which is great 
Um, as I said, I just can't get to the bottom of my washing basket at the moment. I don't know if I've just missed a couple of wash loads when I should have put one on or missed a chance, but it's definitely filling up. So I'm trying to catch up at the moment. So I've now brought up the clean washing and putting this away into Theo's bedroom. Um, and his wardrobe is getting a little bit messy, so I want to sort that out. I love the Marie Kondo style of folding, just so you can see all his vests. But I really enjoy folding and sorting his wardrobes like that. Stars and holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. so much for watching this video if you like this sort of content then please do remember to subscribe and stick around and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and um, so thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye